All right, this is grade two, module one, lesson two, and we're gonna be practicing making the next 10 and adding to a multiple of 10. All right, let's see what that means. All right, so here it says add or subtract and draw a number bond for letter B. So over here, we're going to draw a number bound for these, uh, this fact family here. So let's start by looking over here. And if I look at the number bond, all right, this is upside down compared to the ones we've seen previously. And But the important thing is we want students to see that in this case, here is our whole. It's, in this case, it's an 8. And here are our parts. So we've got a 6 and a 2. So there's our number bond, and sure enough, 6 plus 2 equals 8. Or we can use subtraction. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Or 8 minus 2 equals 6. All right, so now that we've got the lay of the land, let's fill in our missing values over here. So we've got 6 plus 2 equals blank. Well, our students can use their fingers, or they could just use the fact that they know it and get the answer. Or, really what we want them to do at this point is kind of also use this number bond as a bit of a guide, because these number bonds are going to be crazy important throughout not only second grade, but also into third, fourth, and fifth grade. So we want our students to be familiar with number bonds. So here, 2 plus 6. And again, that answer is 8, and we can see that in our num number bond right here. 2 plus 6 equals 8. So now we have a little bit of subtraction. 8 minus 2. Now, if our students want to just count backwards by 2 and get 6, that's fine. But we want them to be able to see that 8 minus 2 gives us 6 as our number bond. And then 8 minus 6 is 2 from our number bond. So now we have to draw our own number bond. So we're on our own here. So if we're going to look over here, we've got blank equals 3 plus 5. Well, and then we have blank equals 5 plus 3. Okay, let's start right here. I think with second graders, especially with lesson 2, they can use their addition and they can figure out that 3 plus 5 is 8. And then uh, next, they can see that 5 plus 3 is also 8. So now we could start to see that our number bond, and oh, let's do it upside down because the other example was upside down. Kind of looks like a face, huh? And so, if we're looking at this fact family, 8 equals 3 plus 5, we can see that 8 is our whole, and then 3 and 5 are our parts. So there's our number bond, and we can fill in the remaining space. 8 minus 3, 8 minus 3 gives us 5, and 8 minus 5 gives us 3. All right, now here it just says solve, so we don't have to use a number bond if we don't want. Now, teachers and parents, the idea here is we want students to see that 20 is really kind of like, we could think of it as two tens, and then plus four more ones. So you have, in their mind, we don't want them to literally write this out, but we want to see that two tens plus four ones equals 24, as in two tens plus four ones, all right? So this is really practicing some basic stuff, review from first grade, really. So the next one, 40 plus three is 43. 40 plus 3, or 4 tens plus 3 ones. Now, the purpose of these questions over here is to show that the answer, meaning the blank space, can be on the left side, or it could be on the right side of the equation. It doesn't matter. And we want students to be flexible with both. So 20 plus 9 is 29. 40 plus 8 is 48. And the last page for this video, uh, we're going to continue practicing. Uh, so we've got 14 is equal to a 10 plus what? So what we want students to see is that a 14 is really a 10 plus uh, some ones. 
And in this case, it's really a 10 plus four ones, or another way to say it would be one 10 plus four ones. All right, so here, if a 14 is a 10 plus four ones, that means in our missing value is a four. Similarly, 23 is two tens plus three ones. So here's our two tens, means we're missing three ones. And uh, way over here, we're just kind of practicing the same concept, only now they're moving around where that, where that um, blank space is. And we can see that here we're missing a 10 because 19 is a 10 plus nine ones. So there's our 10 plus nine ones. And here we're missing a 20. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 2, Practicing, Making the Next 10, and Adding to Some Sort of Multiple of 10.